Welcome back. Uh, so we've got the pre-opened session, which is starting to come up on your screens. Uh, it's all over the place, actually all over the place, from 200 points lower on the uh, Nifty. Uh, so two minutes more and uh, we'll have a realistic picture. But uh, Anuj is here, has uh, hopped across from the Nexto studios. Uh, Anuj, uh, good morning. What are you watching out for? Morning, Prashant. Uh, well, I think the rupee opening would be the most important yeah. because uh, that, I think, uh, in the forward market was indicating that we'll start above the 82 mark. Uh, and that's important because today we have a lot of macro headwinds. The dollar index, which when we closed yesterday was 110 odd, is at 112.1. So I think that is uh, the most important trigger. Uh, apart from that, of course, uh, the dollar index, the indication is that it will open at 82.25. Uh, in, that was the forward market indicator. And of course, there's this uh, World Bank uh, cut which has come for the growth forecast. Uh, 80 to 20 is what we have on the dollar uh, rupee. So uh, Brent crude, Prashant, you were mentioning uh, that is also inching up. Uh, but if the trend is positive, then all of this will be bought. So that, I think, today is really the test of the market's texture because if uh, we are in an uptrend, then this would be as good an opportunity as any if the index gives you 100, 130 point kind of downtake. Uh, uh, FI still... 20% long, 80% short, uh, I, I don't know what they are betting on because even the market's been not giving them any sort of uh, momentum, but they're still maintaining their short positions. There's heavy call buildup at 17,400 and 17,500, which is the congestion zone. Also because the 20-day simple moving average is at 17,472. So I think as long as this zone is intact, perhaps the risk reward is not in your favor to try a long trade. On the bank nifty, the 50-day moving average is 39,045. And if you get an entry point here or before, uh, after that, the 20-day exponential moving average, 50-day uh, exponential moving average of uh, 38,650, that is the zone in which the risk reward perhaps would be in your favor. And just one last point, keep an eye on the mid cap because if the Nifty holds 17,200, like yesterday, the mid cap index, in fact, today I won't be surprised if mid cap index is first to turn in the green. Uh, that outperformance is going to continue as long as the Nifty is above 17,200. If the Nifty moves past 17,500, then my sense is that the Nifty takes over from mid caps. Mm -hmm. If the Nifty falls below 17,200, then the mid caps will also fall. So that's why that's an important level to watch. Okay, by the way, that's a sharp uh, slide that we 